What is going on guys? Welcome back for another amazing Able Boo video, hopefully helpful video as well. I decided before I share with you the spin tutorial, also getting the first ring of Jakarta. As you know, this is also a video of road to first ring and all rings. This is a new account, but as you see, I have only these cues. In the last video episode, I opened few um, legendary boxes oh, and this time I said let's go for 12 legendary boxes and let's see if we can get new kills on this new account and don't forget this video is also to share with you um, spin tutorial and more than anything best matches where I'm getting the Jakarta ring so we just got here this Hummer Q and I hopefully will get another Q uh, on this 12 um, uh, legendary boxes so beautiful the Kraken Q now as you're gonna see right now I speed up the video where I'm spending the rest without gaining anything and as you know guys I will try my best to deliver very good tutorial on the spin uh, and explain to you exactly how it's working and me myself I got much much be better uh, from about six months ago and I will try my best to deliver what I can for you guys to help you also grow your coins and your own, your own account. So as you see right now, we got only these rings on this account. Now the Toronto we got in the last episode. This time I wanna get the Jakarta 100k uh, ring. Also one of the subscribers did ask me for it on the comments. So let's go for it. I also promised them I will. But guys, the, in these games you will see a lot of spin tutorial that will explain very good why I'm doing what I'm doing and more you stay in the video you will not regret you will learn a lot guys because on the last matches I explained even better about the spins so now guys he just missed as you just saw he, he didn't make it in it was unlucky so now I had to go and start my own um, bricks on this table and try to get a win here so as you see guys I wanted to go backwards and now I knew I need to go to a point where I can just release also the red stripe oh, and also getting the green in a good position that I can put the green in. So guys as you see right now I just messed up over here so he got the control again and I thought he's gonna make it but for some reason he wanted to get into the middle pocket even though his solid ball wasn't there so maybe I was lucky I don't know what was that so I just kept going right now and now I knew I need to release the red the red is not a good position but if I go softly I realized I can just make it inside the middle pocket and then all I had to do right now go backwards to cat to make sure I'm getting good position for the block but the green stopped me as you just saw guys and now I realize I can make it still because my, my Q is very strong but I was scared to go to the bottom right pocket so I just made the spin go crooked to the top right and guys it, w it went forward to the top right so 13 out of 20 before we getting the ring soon I will explain it even more um, you know you more clearer you're gonna see also the photo I will zoom in what I'm doing for the zoom so over here it was unlucky now guys as you can see I know that it's gonna go to the right because the other aim showing me so I spin it also to the right to release the balls and now I can just uh, easily make it in so now I went backwards and I even released the balls even more for me so I now I put a solid ball and that should be very easy uh, to clear the table over here I was lucky with the block as you just saw and now I just moved forward a little bit to get a good position for the green and then for the red so I went for the uh, the green and a little bit backwards spin a little bit backwards I knew it's gonna go to the top because the other aim that coming out from the other side of the ball when I'm breaking I know if I spin it backwards which side is gonna go so soon you're gonna see one of the matches a clear method how to use the spin but uh, the first these games it's not that clear I know you guys still doesn't have maybe a clue but soon you're gonna realize what I'm talking about so as you see now he got stuck he cannot get the solid orange inside so he was playing whatever and now I knew I had to play smart to release all the group of 
the balls. Now I know with the spin it's gonna move the orange because the other aim showing me where it's gonna go. So if I go backwards, backwards for sure will make the orange move backwards as well. Because the aim, as you just saw, I zoomed in guys. I hope this was a really helpful to understand what I'm doing. Now I will put the brown ball in, then the green and then the purple. Let's see, so now the brown is in, now the green with the spin backwards and then we're gonna go for the purple ball. Let's just make sure I'm doing the right spin and I should have made a little bit more power and I was still able to just nail it in, make sure I'm using the right spin. That ball shouldn't go to no pocket on the side. And we almost got it to the middle pocket. He already realized I'm winning. He just quit it. So we moved forward to 15 out of 20 before we getting the ring, guys. And I decided that maybe in the latest uh, matches, I will just try to play as smart as I can with the spins. And that's where I'm trying to share the best tutorial. So now, guys, I just uh, bricked off first. And now I wanted to make a denial. I tried my best, now I have to go backwards and release the black and the yellow because I knew if I go backwards that's what's gonna happen because the aim was going towards the wall, top wall and with a lot of power spin backwards I knew it's gonna happen so so guys now I just nailed the orange in and now we just put the yellow I was trying to release the purple ball because I saw the aims going that way and if that was exactly what happened the purple solid was moved away so now I I put the purple in with a forward spin a little bit and then I got behind the brown exactly where I can just nod it all to the right pocket or the bottom pocket and now I had to use the right spin to get to, you know, with a good position for the black to end the game so I went forward but not with so much power I knew where I wanted to be and now I can just nail it in in the middle pocket and now obviously we're moving forward to 16 out of 20 guys but let me just tell you that and the last I think three games from 17 out of 20 I really got amazing matches that I had to really use my brain to make sure I'm winning so over here I'm making um, a break off first as you've seen and I'm trying to clear off the table so I just got the blue went forward for the yellow and now what I'm seeing here that I uh, should be not hard to just nail everything in so only the brown solid I need to release and it was unlucky so my white ball went in and now guys he was stuck he was having hard time to get the red but he made it but look where he stopped behind my brown solid and he was like able to touch the black but not to really set the aim so obviously he just didn't get it in and the white ball went in so this was really easy win on this match i had to share with you this match as well because uh this is the road to first rings on everything so this is the jakarta ring and i don't want to skip no match that we win even if the guy quit or anything like that so let's just finish it very fast he just quit it and now we're moving to 17 out of 20 guys but the 18 19 and 20 which means the ring it was really good games this 14 level i checked his profile 73.8 i was shocked i knew he's a good player he made a spin backwards and he lost his white ball and now i knew i need to release the purple and the green solid ball and i saw that the aim i can just set it right and make a spin and the right uh, you know direction and I knew that it's gonna go exactly to the release my green and purple guys just for that smash the like button and if you find it helpful or enjoying this video I need you to support this channel thank you so much and don't forget if you are new to subscribe to the channel so now I needed to put the green in and then make sure I'm using a spin right not to go forward behind the blue uh, stripe ball so I made a backward spin with a, not so much power on my cue and I stopped exactly where I needed to be stopping and then we can just nail a win here and we are just now gonna move to 18 out of uh, 20 before we getting the boot and I will check his profile after we're just gonna win I wanted to see how much you go down from 73.8 and let's see guys 18 out of 20 and then I check his profile down to 72.7 
So guys, then I got to play with this 71 level and this was a really nice match with him. Now we needed to put the stripe blue but what about the yellow, we need to release the yellow from that position close to my blue stripe, a solid ball, so I knew he's not gonna make it here. So he was still happy because my uh, brown solid ball is very close to the black. So he was having still a chance that I may lose here. But look what happened guys. Right now I was trying to release my brown and make sure maybe it's gonna go and touch the brown with the black. But look where it stopped. Now he was so happy. Now I just probably will just miss. Now I had to use my um, bank shot from Berlin and make sure I'm spinning it right backwards and it stopped exactly where I needed the blue now with the brown I will touch the top of the blue and this way I can just nail a win here he said you are great thanks bro and now guys I had to really just make sure going backwards for a good position for ending with the black and that's exactly what's happening now I was still afraid that my uh, white ball will go to the one of the uh, back pocket so I went forward with the spin a little bit just to make sure I'm not going to no pocket in the back which means the top right pocket or top bottom I'm sorry bottom right pocket so very nice match 19 out of 20 if you're still here thank you so much for really watching the video up to here and now guys they just nail it in with this furry level he was starting the break off and now we almost ended this match and now as you see the yellow stripe and the block are block are really in a not in a good position to just nail them in to the pocket so he knew that and I think purposely he just missed so now I had to use my brain and try my best to make a spin with the green after I see the aim going towards the right side and going forward and then I touched the orange and then the white ball went backwards to the table and then exactly where I needed to be and we just released the yellow stripe guys just for that please support this channel smash the like button leave any comment you want uh, feedback or advice so as you see right now we're just nailing it in and we should be now closing this uh, tutorial, uh, tutorial plus the road to the first ring on Jakarta and here we just did it together on this new account yeah this is the ring I we looked for on this video and this is the first ring on this account guys thank you for watching up to now love you for being my subscribers and if you're a new viewer please consider subscribing thanks